So as many of you know, a few months ago I finished my dissertation that got me my BMED side degree. A few months later I'd found that the Association of Anaesthetists had accepted my abstract and invited me to Belfast to display my poster at their National Congress. So join me as I explore Belfast for the first time and attend my first ever medical conference. So I have just finished packing for Belfast, finally. I really thought I wasn't gonna make it in time because you know me, late all the time. It's my worst trait. Um, but I am so excited. We fly out today from Birmingham, so gotta do the drive to Birmingham. And then we get there tonight, probably delivering to the hotel, I think. So I'm just gonna put things in the car and get ready to go. So excited. The trip to Belfast from Nottingham was actually quicker than the drive to London and soon enough Holly and I were in Belfast ending the evening with some takeout and reality TV before the big day. Hi everyone, um, okay so it is the morning of the conference, as you can see we're all ready, we're all formal um, on our way to the International Conference Centre in Belfast. Um, what do we need to do? We need to register and then obviously get have to get to the complimentary tea and coffee. Um, the only workshops we want to do are in the afternoon, which are on how to publish a paper, um, which I think are just really important life skills as a doctor, because obviously you will be publishing papers. I'm not really going to go to all the intense anaesthetics workshops, which are like on um, brachial plexus nerve blocks and stuff, because I mean, although I feel like it would be me. Oh, I was going to go to that. Uh, one, right, okay. Just be, even though I'd be making the most of it, I just feel like it, it just, there's no point really. I'm not, it's all gonna go over my head. At the conference, there were loads of stalls of companies advertising fancy new equipment, loads of freebies, and of course the posters that had been chosen for display. There were also quite a few workshops aimed at anaesthetists, but I did find one which was useful on how to successfully publish research. So we're at the conference and everything's a little beyond how much I know about anaesthetics, but it's really interesting and I'm really excited to be here. As you can see, we've got the free tea and coffee. I've just come across this like little stand, which is like all the old anaesthetic um, equipment. Look, that's mine. That's my name. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Look at the little graphic. So here we have my poster. I just actually cannot believe that as a medical student, I'm here with all these anaesthetists and that my poster got chosen for presentation. If you watch my dissertation vlog, you'll know what I wrote about. Basically, there's this type of procedure in medicine known as an interventional radiological procedure. And that is kind of replacing a lot of surgical procedures because in a lot of ways they're safer, patients recover from them better and they're not as invasive so instead of like cutting up a patient you kind of just insert little cameras and insert little lines and fix them from the outside if that makes sense um, but one of the complications of that is acute kidney injury which is where your kidneys fail quite quickly so looking at what determines whether patients will get acute kidney injury compared to the patients that don't so those are my results and basically i found that yeah there's no real correlation in my patient sample between number of patient risk factors and whether their kidneys decline and yeah just on my conclusion recommendations um, i can't believe we're here i'm so excited and these are all the other lovely posters so we're getting ready now to go to a nice tapas place on a date to celebrate how successful this um, week has gone. It's actually insane, I didn't realise, but apparently all my dissertation work, it counts as two publications. So one of them actually goes into like, um, that their anesthesia journal, which is an international journal that has like the highest impact factor of any anesthetics journal in the UK, which is just insane. And the post presentation itself counts as another um, publication. So I'm so happy that there's two incredible things to add to my CV. Um, but yeah, so now tapas, and then Holly and I are going to try our first ever Guinness, which, I mean, do we look like Guinness girls? Not really, so I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm excited, you know, you've got to do all the stuff in um, Belfast while you're here, and honestly, I'm falling in love with Belfast, all the shops are so cute. I'll show you what you're wearing tonight. 
So as you can see, we're both looking quite classy. Going to our tapas date. I'm wearing this Amelie Star collab. I, I think I did the unboxing of this in a video. This long H&M trench coat, which we're so into. And Holly is wearing my bralette, my jacket, my necklace. No? My trousers, my shoes. That's true. <laughs> okay, so let's go as we take on Belfast and Guinness. So Belfast is by far the best city I've ever visited. There were loads of aesthetic independent souvenir shops and brunch places that were all a lot more affordable than they would be somewhere like London and even Nottingham. Holly and I also tried our first ever Guinness. I'd heard rave reviews from my grandma who told me the doctors used to prescribe it to pregnant ladies back in the day, but it's fair to say I probably won't be doing that again. I don't think I actually realized there was something that tasted worse than beer. So I've actually been so bad at vlogging today. We've been going to so many different vintage shops, haven't we? Um, they've been really fun. What else have we done? So I would have shown you yesterday. There's a, a souvenir shop in Belfast that's so nice. We went there again and got loads of stuff. Holly got me for the kitchen. I also got Holly this. Don't know. It's a surprise for our anniversary. And we got something for your mom and your grandma. And now we like, I was getting hungry, I wanted pancakes, as per. as per, so we walked into this little complex, if you've been to London it's kind of like Box Park, like there's lots of little different stalls and food, and I got, <laughs> look at this, a palm of Isla, and they pistachio mochi, they look so cute don't they? Um, so yeah, we've only got, got like, pancake. oh, and I got a little pancake, which, it's like a pancake cake, they said. It's like a filled pancake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that actually looks really nice. Is that it? Oh. I think it's in the middle. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Um, we've got to leave in like an hour and a half, but we're really close to the hotel, so yeah. Uh -huh. Chicken's Chicken. ready. Wow, that is amazing. 